Hi students, in this video we're going to look at proving our third chord theorem. So after watching this video, you should be able to prove that the perpendicular to a chord that passes through the centre of the circle bisects the chord and the angle subtended by the chord at the centre. So the things you have to recall, first of all, chords are lines that cut our circle into two pieces but not through the centre. And bisect means cut in half. So um, bisect could mean cutting our line or our chord in half, but we can also bisect angles and cut angles in half. You'll also have to remember how to solve um, geometric proofs and the steps and the table we use for that. And also we have to be able to um, use geometric reasoning and axioms and their appropriate notation. All right, students, so we've got to prove that the perpendicular to a chord that passes through the centre bisects both the chord and the angles obtended at the centre. So, a lot of words in there, so let's just highlight a couple of key ones. So we've got a perpendicular to our chord that passes through the centre. Okay. So looking at our chord here, let's call that um, AB. And because we've got this word subtended in our proof, I'm going to draw some lines to the center to create our subtended angle. So from A to our center, then from our center out to B, and we'll call our center O. Now, we've got to draw this perpendicular. So we've got a line that's perpendicular to our chord that passes through the center. So I'll just start at the center, Draw our line, and I'm going to call so it meets at our chord at a right angle. Now, if left hand, if one side's a right angle, the other side must be a right angle. So I'm going to call that point there P, P for perpendicular, where our point cuts. Um, where our perpendicular, sorry, cuts our chord. Now, uh, we've got that statement there. So P is the point where uh, the line from our center, the perpendicular from our center meets the chord. And now what have we got to prove? Well, we've got to prove that this line, right, OP, this perpendicular, bisects both our angle at the center. So it cuts AOB in half that should also cut our chord AB in half too. So what we've got to really show is that our angle POA up here must be equal to our angle here, POB. Okay. If they're the same size, that means that OP has cut it in half. And in the same way, AP and BP must also be the same if um, OP bisects it and cuts it in half. So there are the two things we have to prove. All right, so setting up our table, we've got our statements and our reason. Now, the first thing we can say is that our angles, OPA and OPB, well, they're both the same and they're both 90 degrees. And that was given to us in the question right, because we're told that our line is a perpendicular. So APO and BPO, they're both 90 degrees given in the question. The second thing we can say is that AO and BO are both the same length because they're both radii from the same circle. Radius must be the same. So those line lengths must be the same. Now, what we're about to do, students, is actually show or what we're aiming for is to show that we've got two right angle triangles that are actually congruent. So we've got the right angle, we've got the hypotenuse of both right angle triangles, and then this side in the middle, OP, is actually the same for both. So we still have to say that. We have to say that OP equals OP, and we can say that that side is common. They have both, um, yeah, both triangles have that common side. And we still need to say that OP equals OP because when we come to our congruency, which we can now prove, 
we need all of that information. So we can say those triangles APO and BPO, they're now congruent because they both have a right angle, the hypotenuse are the same, and that extra side, in this case OP, is the same. So uh, we can, yeah, we've proven that APO and BPO, both of those right angle triangles, they're congruent because of right angle, hypotenuse and side, proven in step one, two and three respectively. Now that we've got congruency, we can say that those corresponding angles and sides are equal. So the corresponding angles are POA and POB. They must be the same because they are corresponding and because of um, the congruency in step four, they must be the same. Similarly, AP and BP, they must be the same as well because they are corresponding sides in congruent triangles, which we proved in step four. We've proven both our statements true, so the theorem must indeed be true QED. So students, after watching this video, you should be able to prove that a perpendicular to a chord that passes through the center bisects both the chord and the angle subtended at the center.